Hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We are playing some more Total War Warhammer 2, continuing with our Vampiric Coast campaign. And yeah, things are going well. We're pushing hard on the Ratmen, or at least uh, Pestilence. Um, we actually took their town. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. They have an army somewhere down here. We're not entirely sure where. Um, the question is, now are we going to go declare war on Itza? They only have two provinces. Uh, and taking this would definitely help unify our lands, and we also do want to go grab this. Um, we might just be okay bringing him out and going and grabbing that. The only potential issue is, what's our happiness here? You're at plus zero right now. Um, but that is with... It's not because, oh yeah, yeah, we just took this province here. That's what went on. Um, I'm wondering about grabbing, we could grab some income buildings, uh, although our income's getting better. I'm actually wondering about grabbing public order and the corruption. I think let's grab one of each. And let's try getting the corruption up a little bit. We probably don't want to leave then because we want to actually get our corruption going up. So the vampire corruption's going up 23? What the heck? Oh, dang. All right. <laughs> so we're going from 21.4% to 54. That seems okay. I think I'm fine with that. Uh, probably should keep these guys together, though, until you heal up. You're back up to level 9. How close are you to... Never mind. She's actually a higher level now. Never mind. He's 14. For some reason, I saw her. I saw the loyalty, and I was like, oh, she's a higher level now. He's only 9. And I was really confused at why he was only level 9. That makes a little more sense. So, um... Over here, temple, I think we just leave you here. You are losing happiness because lack of corruption. Corruption is not going up anymore. Hmm. Three turns, we'll be able to fix some of this. Uh, we're going to want to spend some money here. Do we have to just, I don't know, maybe we just wait here. What do you need? You need four. All right, I guess we'll keep you there for now. This will probably end up spending some money. Um, we should be getting pretty close to some treasure. So we should be able to start doing some of that. We're now going to have to find some of these pirates to go blow up so we can get our sea shanties. Uh, not entirely sure how we're supposed to do that, so probably should Google that at some point. Uh, pirate Cove building smuggler cove. Sweet. Wish we could see how much money we're making off that. Uh, you didn't do anything. Good, 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 good. Skaven didn't bring any units towards us. And by Skaven, I mean Pestilence. New World Colonies, yeah, I wonder if we could piece out the last defenders now that we um, took their one thing. I don't know. We wouldn't be able to declare war on them for a little bit. I don't think we're planning on declaring war on them for a little bit. I love how much corruption's in that province, yet all these other ones we don't have any. Uh, Lothurn declared war, or Scaling declared war on Lothurn. Um, I'm just going to advance through all these because they don't really matter. Another has called you out. Admiral Huffoff looks to silence your cannons and ambitions. Okay. For he has the power of song and the sea at his very disposal. So, this is what we're looking for. Seafarers through the Aegis of Song. Song's a great potency to empower their gun crews. The most powerful of these, yeah, yeah, yeah. Each verse may be seized by gaining more infamy than its current holder, provoking them into battle. Okay, well, we have more than them. So, how do we provoke them into battle? I want to provoke you into battle. Fight me. <laughs> so we got one of these buildings. So we got a little uh, of that. Get an extra income from ports. Sweet. Curse of the Queen's Cannon is available to be performed. There we go. Okay, I think that was our mission. Um, now, we can only do this one time. So... Into any army. We get more casualty replenishment rates. I don't think we're going to spend the money on it. We could now do Bountiful Treasure... For every building owned from the buried treasure chain. I'm assuming the buried treasure chain must be... Must be these suckers, right? It's got to be one of those buildings, right? So we're going to go declare war on you. Uh, I don't know. See, you're not really on the coast anymore. And I don't know what's further south. So if we could get peace with him, I think I'm cool with that. Just so it's like one less person we have to deal with. He doesn't want a peace treaty. That's fine. That's fine. I do what I want. I don't need you. Alright, what's this look like? Yeah, we're gonna declare war on you. I don't care. I don't know if the Vipers joined us or not. I didn't really pay attention. 
<coughs> okay, so they have a Hellbreeder infantry. They have a bunch of archers, and they have one monstrous infantry. We'll be fine. What's this one? Leadership plus four? Mmm. Give it to just one of the guys. It doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, I guess I should... No, you know what I should do? Can we... How do we uh, take you back? There we go. Let's give it to our lord. So our lord doesn't break. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and fight it. Should probably look at what the map looks like. They have a little bit of infantry. Their infantry is really, really terrible, though. Um, why are we only fighting one? They're all allies? Oh, interesting. So he just has a single lord in there. Okay. But we got three lords right now. All we have to do is go break his lord. Now, are they... They're skeletons, so all we have to do is kill you and then all the units break, right? So, same thing here. We gotta make sure our chick doesn't die, but... Do we give her any special abilities? Like, I don't know if she got anything after our last battle. Uh, artillery would be really great to have at some point, but... We'll gamble. We could use a little bit more. Yeah. Alright, start deploy. Start battle. I don't really even care. <laughs> I really don't. So, let's take a quick look. They got some chariots, but these are missile chariots, so those are a little scary. He does have the monstrous infantry. We don't really have an easy way to break you. Um, then he has a bunch of just, like, weak freaking units. Now, let's compare. These guys have 55 armor, which is pretty good, plus really good melee attack and weapon strike. They're significantly better than us. Huh. I didn't realize their infantry was so good. Well, at least compared to us. All right, well, this could be a problem. Luckily, we got our exploders, man. Where, where do we go? Where do we, there we are. Yeah, our exploders are going to potentially save the day here. Where are you guys at? You guys are up here. I'm going to put you up here. They're coming at us. Can we hit them? Question is, how can we hit them without um, getting shot? It's kind of the question. We want all you guys to be on two. We want all you guys to be on three. We want you guys on one. You guys to be on four. I wish you could stealth some units. That's what would be amazing. You now have magic missile, which is a nice little explosion. You can replenish ammo, which is fine. You got some regeneration, which is good. And then speed and attack for an augment, which is also good. And then you give someone better accuracy. Now, I think we have better range. Yeah, we do. Are you hiding? You are hiding. You are currently hiding. You come back and hide. Now, our range dudes have some better range. Specifically, these guys. The gunnery mobs. Yeah, they're suffering already. Now, I don't think... Yeah, you're shooting at my infantry. So let's go fight. Let's go fight. You guys get up here. Come kill. So ideally, let's just get rid of some of these infantry dudes. You're first. So I would like to actually maybe hit someone else. Yeah, let's hit this guy. There you go. So it's just like straight up wipe out, which is just amazing. <laughs> I love these guys. They're so fun. Uh, all right, let's do... We even hit the Lord there. Yeah. So, um... Let's get all these guys just going right now. Uh, accuracy, I don't think I really care about. Magic Missile is good against one person. I'm gonna hit you, just to be safe. Okay. You guys get over here. This is fine. This is all fine right now. You guys focus on these guys. Shoot these guys dead. Alright, now shoot those guys dead. You guys come here. You guys are holding him out. They're coming in. That's fine. Um, Lord's going down, though. So we're in a great spot. Uh, heals, I don't think we even need yet. So just keep blowing them up. Apparently, I don't think we use the other magic missiles. Yeah, there you go. Kill him. Lord dead. So the enemy Lord is wounded. So now we need to get these guys dead. So you guys come over here now. And... 
You guys all need to go blow the crap out of these guys. Can we... Can we give them speed by chance? I don't think so. Plenish ammo doesn't really help. Extra accuracy. Sure, go throw that on. And we'll replenish HP up here. I don't think it really does anything on those units, but that's fine. So the goal is to kill the lords, so... Once we kill the lords, then they should all just die. Disintegrate. I think so, at least. Actually, come hit the chariots, because they're too quick for us. Break these guys. Yeah, they're all disintegrating. Good, 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 good. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, we had some that were about to disintegrate ourselves, so... Yeah, that worked out well. So we lost 51, they lost 168. Boom. We killed them all. Uh, we only lost our exploders. Yeah, really good. Really good. Exactly how that should happen. I just love how, like the role like we've had to fight so many battles just because the auto resolve just does not seem to be in our favor and maybe we could have won that but it just looked like it wouldn't have been in our favor so we want another pirate coat but oh my lord can we sack and then do a pirate cove next time i'm gonna sack and try doing the pirate cove next time <laughs> because oh my god that's a lot of money that was a lot of money i kind of need that and then we're going to sit here and chill. You leveled up. Where are we getting you? I think we're going to go... You got some interesting looking spells. Sure. Regeneration. Resurrects dead combatants. Oh, okay. That's good. So that will actually bring them back to dead. This increases number of missiles. Okay. And this summons uh, zombie pirate mobs. Yeah, sure. I don't think I care so much about that one. Now, we don't have to worry about an army from them. I don't think so. I think we're good for a while. You also leveled up. You're a vampire. Uh, we want the Rotting Prometheans, please. Because those are some really good units we can pop into any fight. Should be helpful. And then uh, Jim Bob. We want Ar Arcane Conduit. And then you're good. Okay, cool. So now we can do some better stuff with you. Uh, so the question is, what are we doing over here? I don't know. Could keep going to doing uh, more income. That's 50 income. Yeah, might as well. Our income's starting to get really good again. Yeah, our income's starting to look really, really good. So we're up to 54 now. We're still losing a lot of happiness, though. If you take that military presence, we are losing happiness. So then I'm wondering, maybe I should move and put her over here. Wait, you have to stay here, though, because you're still recruiting, aren't you? You still got two more turns, so. Yeah, we'll have to stay there, then. You still have another turn as well. We got income now. I don't think I care about that. And I don't know I really care about that. So let's just save some of our cash for now, probably. This just gives us more public order. Public order's fine. So we're not going to worry about you. And this is more public order here, which isn't great, but I'm not too worried about it. Let's do this one. Yeah, make me income. Um, And then last but not least, let's do some more technology. So what were we doing? I don't remember. Income from rating, construction cost. Yeah. We're making enough money that I don't really care about that. That's just a follower. Upkeep. But we figured that upkeep wasn't worth as much as we wanted. Bonus versus large would be nice, but that's only for the pole arms. Public order in all provinces, however, is significant. Getting slightly more damage is probably not bad. Charge bonus. Speed for the um, animated hulks is nice, too. Yeah, we're kind of at the spot where it really doesn't matter. They're all kind of like, eh, not super great. Okay, I think we're good here. You're going to stay there a couple more turns. Let's keep going. Let's actually advance and get some turns going this time. We've been going really slow the last few episodes just because we've had to fight so many battles. So we've been fighting, what, like two, three battles per uh, turn, which means we're really, really behind on turns right now. We're actually, are we at war with you? 
Maybe? Us defenders are actually stronger than us. But they're across an ocean, so we're fine. We're fine. No. I want one more province, and then we'll piece them out. And in fact, let's go take care of that, and then we can go piece, worry about piecing them out later. Yeah. Did we piece out? Yeah, we did. The Dark Elves that were down south of us, I'm pretty sure we pieced them out. I don't really care about you guys. I'm just going to go forward, because I don't think there's anyone else we care about. Blue Vipers, maybe it's interesting to see what they were doing, but it'll be fine. Also, Hexatol is all the way down here. That's scary. Sweet. Sweet. That's actually really nice to get. Hey, Jim the Creeper, too. Both of those are nice to have. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can do this. Or I'm going to be kind of sad. <laughs> uh, we want to go attack, and we want to go attack. And we're going to auto-resolve this one. I swear to God, why did you blow up both of those guys? All right, now we're going to do a Pirate Cove. So we didn't make nearly as much money this turn, but that's fine. So she's up to 10. She loves us. She absolutely loves us. Uh, let's see, what do you got? Curse of Undeath. Uh, yeah, that one just sounds amazing, man. Good at flanking enemies. It's pirate gunnery mobs. I don't know that they're really great at flanking. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I'm going to do the Curse of Undeath, because that sounds awesome. Because it sounds like you can actually bring dudes back from the dead. So, um, where normally the healing spell will just give you HP, which doesn't necessarily help these guys, because each individual unit does not have that much HP. Um, it's more for heroes. Being able to bring them back from the dead is amazing. Speaking of which... We can't bring you back from the dead. Yeah. Well, I don't like that. I have to go blow up some of this stuff. Lashik is really tiny, so I think that's going to be our next goal. Because uh, you were a capital over here, were you not? Suddenberg? Yeah. So we don't really want to fight that one. Um, once again, I think we go for more income per turn. Yeah, I think we keep wanting to go that way. What was, let's see, you're smuggling and trading, you're murder and corruption. What's the murder one? Gives us one more lord recruit, one more hero capacity, and the region will be visibly visible to you on your turn. Or vampiric corruption. Nah. We don't really care about vampiric corruption because we're not going to come over here. <laughs> Someday, maybe. But right now, no. Uh, both of our other people leveled up too, so. Uh, that's damage in an area. I think I like the leadership, being able just to instantly break units. Then, this gives you extra accuracy for everyone in the area, which we already kind of have. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Armor piercing and missile damage. That's going to be good if we fight higher level units. So as, long, as these guys level up, these guys are going to become better and better. Wish we could get better units. And the thing is, we technically could this way. But, meh. I kind of want a cannon, though. Getting some sort of mortar or something would help out. Just to make sure that the AI has to come at us. Alright, you're done now, right? No, you still need one more turn. You're done, however. I'm not really gaining HP the way I want. Hmm. Well, let's stay here. Um, quickly. Pestilence. Yeah, they have no power right now. Okay. And Itza only had two provinces, so we want to go take you, and we want to take you, and then GG. And we'll peace out both. Uh, you're going to build me more growth, less public order penalty. Sounds good. I'm actually getting plus eight right now. Uh, I'm going to keep the plus eight because the income's still going to be terrible. And the more public order we get, the better it's going to be here. Also, too, we're about to move out, so that's about to go negative. So it's going to be longer before we have to, like, rebuild stuff. Uh, Awakening has a new build. Yeah, no, no. You've been that way. We need money right now. You're making 5,500 here. That is stupid. You still need seven more turns as well. All right, well, I think we're good again. It's not really much for us to do, so... Let's keep advancing. Sure. You guys are currently at war with us. Huh. I don't know why. 
Did I agree to go that war? By the way, hold up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We want to go back because I don't really want to watch them go like three miles an hour. Please. Thank you. Um, We want to see... Yeah, Pestilence is kind of what we're waiting for. Looks like he's putting some units there as protection. We could just fast forward everyone, but... You're probably moving to come fight me. Yes, you are. Well, we're going to go run away, so... These guys would probably kick our butt, I think. They look a little scary. What level were you? I don't know. But we're going to get in the water. He's not going to fight us then. And we're going to go flip around and hit the other province. <laughs> ah, I love it. Uh, I don't care. Let's go fast. Yeah, we don't care about any of these guys anymore. And then these guys, uh, well, blue vipers might be worth seeing. But these guys I don't care about. Because they just zoom in and out, but they don't actually attack us. So... Not our province. Sweet. I thought that was our province. I was like, crap! Uh, okay. You're losing happiness right now. Because lack of corruption, right? So let's get the happy building then, even though the income would be really, really nice. Let's get the public order plus four, and then that'll just stop that immediately. That was all our money. Huh. All right. We did just get a bunch of new units. Uh, all right. Not enough warpstone. <laughs> just outside range. Just outside range. Oh, you lucky punk. Oh, and he's so good. He could easily get over there. All right, well, let's do this. I'm going to move you over here. We're going to put her back here. He's got a really crappy army. He's not going to be able to fight either of these armies 1v1, let alone if you add in all this crap. The garrison. Walls are at 93%. Doing good. Doing good. You're definitely within range. There's no reason to keep going. I'm gonna dig for treasure. Eh, we'll try. There is one right around here, but I think it might be actually be in this province right there, so. Alright, this is all protected. You are 10. You are 8. We need 7 more turns and we can do that one. This would actually be nice to have right now, too. But, are we okay? And then, let's go across the sea. Dude, I like these pyro coves. They're nice. It's kind of a cool idea. I'll double check. Nope. That's fine, we'll get more dead bodies here. Uh, what? Where to? It shall be done. Uh, what? I do not serve. Mm, why can't I get in the sea? The Galleon awaits. Yeah, why, why can't I get in the sea? That's a problem. So, I guess because we went through the port, that's why. We might be dead. Maggie might not be living much longer. Oh, it's fine. I think we're far enough. I mean, obviously we're still within range, but that's his range of his march. So he's not going to be able to engage battle. So I think we're fine. What's going on over here? Oh, they also have a little war going over here for that thing. So, yeah, we might be okay. If we end up dying, she did her purpose. We got a couple pour, uh, ports. Totally worth the value. God, I wish I could hate you. Mm, let's see. Who hasn't moved? You hadn't moved, but we're going to keep you there. I guess next turn again. How long have we been going? 24 minutes. Okay. You ended up winning. And then it looks like you just um, took some money. I guess. I think I'm going to turn off our free city people, our little dwarves up there, the human dwarves. Because they don't really matter, and I keep accidentally skipping our uh, orc buddies. Who are getting their butt kicked, man. <laughs> Just everywhere, man. They're completely surrounded right now. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
Don't do it, man. Don't do it. What did you do? You failed critically. Good. She didn't do it. Okay. Trying to. Definitely chasing me out. I think when we get in the water, though, we'll be fine. These guys. I don't care about you guys. Turn them off. Because I just don't care. Mostly because I want to see the blue vipers. And then you guys should all just be on, like, fastest. Uh, say what? Say what? He entered land. Uh, what? <laughs> they they don't enter land. We've seen this before. They they don't enter land. They they stay in the sea. What what are what what what's what what are, what? Freaking frick! I need you. We in bad spot. We in a very bad spot. So we are what, like three turns away? Shoot, this is bad. Can we win this? I think so. I think we have to win this. Okay, he's running away, so yes, we can win this. Frick. But the reason we need to win this is I need to run you back. But I can't run you back now because of this. Oh my god. Are you just gonna, like, raise this down? He's scary, because he's got some um, Norskin troops, which are um, kind of intimidating, if we're gonna be honest here. You got a tiny army. Yeah, teleportation would be really good right now. Well, let's go home. Fortunately, it's going to leave this open. God, and you're just out of range. You also cannot go anywhere, so... Maybe I could have moved you out. Who are you? Oh. He's got a decent sized army there. 3,800. Um, I think we do want that. Now, the only question is do I need to raise an army here? In Pox Marsh? We could recruit a lord, man. We could raise a bunch of troops. Are you going to go siege me down and just blow up Pox Marsh? I mean, very much might. No. We don't have walls here either. I don't really want to lose Box Marsh. I don't really want to recruit an Admiral either, though. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do it. We were making 2300. We'll have to do it. Ah, murderer is the battle, right? Yeah, we actually don't want murderer, though. We want fire starters burning, siege battles, instigator, fighting other pirate lords in battle. I don't want to fight other pirate lords. Intrigate. Plunderer. Smuggler. God, upkeep 900, man. Gain loyalty from constructing pirate coves. I wonder if I just get someone high enough and then just immediately dismiss them if we'll lose. Like, if they'll go crazy. I don't want to do smuggler. I don't really like any of these. Brute is not bad, so we might just have to take you because of Brute, but she's really high, and you have Brute. You're 4 to 9. I think we got to roll with you. Our other 4 to 9s are Firestarter, which we don't want, and Smuggler, which we don't want. 5 to 10, but you're Smuggler. All right, we'll roll with you. Yeah, I need you in the city, please. And you're going to immediately raise... Our income is so hot trash right now. And 
What can we do in one turn? That. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe something a little cheaper. We have 800. All right, let's try that. If he comes and raises us, he's going to come and raise us. And there's little we can do about it. So this is basically kind of a last minute hope. What's happening here? You're still losing loyalty, but that should be fixed next turn. So let's see what's happening here. And then we'll probably wrap up the episode because we'll have to. I forgot to put you in the freaking water. Because she had like an inch of movement, it didn't count as hero not move, so I didn't get the alert for it. And I totally forgot about her over there because I'm so worried about what's going on over there on the west. Ah, so yeah, let's just reload and go back and move her. Whoopsie. That's a minor, uh, oops. Just a minor one. Luckily, I'm glad that they do it right before the save. It just works out really, really well that way. Run away, run away. Okay, we know hero not moved. Now, she all once again has like a one little tile move, so screw that. We'll have to remember that. So, Temple of Kara burned down. Interesting. Interesting. We might want to go take that. But the reason we didn't take that was because of all that territory. Hmm. I hate you so much. Weapon damage. We'll put it on you, probably. And then Strider, and we'll put on the Exploder, dude. All right, well, let's save this. We will go ahead and fight next uh, episode. I love how I attack him. He runs away, and then he attacks me, and he gets the ambush. That just seems completely fitting. Uh, we should be okay since he ran away from us, but um, also, too, Peg is pretty badass at this point. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think, as always. Hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Later.